Hi Sagittarius, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to any old comers, to any newcomers, and to myself, as I arrogantly say. Um, I've been away for uh, a while on vacation, and then I've been back for a week and done some readings. I haven't stressed them, I just have made them as time has gone by, and it feels good to do it that way. Um, I am using your awakening path as a foundation for your reading as I believe that we're all in this awakening path we're all waking up right now um, and so with no further ado let's just jump right in I'm using this fairy tarot cards I just have to say we have a full moon in Pisces in about two days on the 2nd of September and I don't know about you guys but I I had a really hard time falling asleep last night and I've been waking up every so often uh, during this night and I had a tough time to put my little boy to bed last night he was really not having any of it and also my older son my oldest son um, he was like was it a full moon last night I was like no but in about like two days and I felt the same so this one I, I, we feel it now it, it's Pisces and it's full moon in Pisces but still this time around, every, I'm feeling it. So maybe you guys are feeling it too. And that explains some of your issues right now. Stop. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, thank you. Um, I, I get two cards like as a basis for you. As a... as a Oh, wow. Sorry. As a um, general start. As a basic general start for you. And then these two or rather three already popped out and kept shuffling and just got stop in my head so it, I did uh, wow this is really beautiful I'm learning so many new words in English you know you think you know a language but it's just that you just know the general stuff and then when it, as soon as it goes into sort of a more specific area you just find out that you don't know that much at all um, but I'm so excited to keep learning uh, these are called, it's not daffodils, are they? Daffodils. I don't know. The main thing that comes here, you're going to see it in a second. First of all, you feel like you, you're in a very much like a healing place. And then there's one, two, is that three or is it actually four? I think it's three. Three uh, ladybugs, which is... It's being a bit reflective here. Uh, Nickelpiga in Swedish. Nickelpiga. This little one. Uh, that's interesting. If you, if you translate it, Nickelpiga is key maid. Or like a maiden. Key maid. I don't know. <laughs> uh, ladybug. So with the lady, ladybugs here, uh, they're coming with love. As soon as I see a ladybug, uh, that's my way of like, that's my signal or sign that somebody's thinking of me with love. And I really have taken that on as a, as a sign or as a message. So whenever uh, somebody, it could be from, it could be a loved one here. It could be somebody that has crossed over. And for the general population, I think it's for the, for somebody that has crossed over. Cause this, I see it as daffodils. Is that what they're called? Um, but like when I do this, it's like there are clouds in heaven. They're just beautiful clouds in heaven. And so I feel like this is spirit coming through with a message from you, for you, uh, from the heavens. So maybe uh, family member, ancestors, some somebody from the other side is coming with love for you, to you. It's, we're, we're wrapping something up. Sagittarius we're we're ending something and I mean I feel this strong there is something coming to a close definitely when I'm sitting here in Sweden I feel the autumn air already in, in, in the air it's like it's really crisp it's really getting cooler outside it's it's I love this time of year when it when the seasons shift like this and it's this crisp in the air and that for me is like it's a wrapping up we're wrapping up summer and we're moving on into the next season this is nine of spring um 
so for me, it just speaks about endings and new... I, I know you reverse this image. It's endings and new beginnings. So that's what we're starting with. And, and I'm moving on with here, Ten and Winter and Prince of Winter. Um, and it's this one card here that I kept it has kept coming out over and over and over again. Uh, I don't know where you are along the lines of... You're probably my seventh, seventh message right now for this round. Um, and the Ten of Winter has just kept coming out. Ten speaks about a completion. And this card for me indicates um, that there is a message within the message. So you might say something to somebody thinking that you're talking to somebody, thinking you might be giving them advice or just having a random conversation about them. But within that conversation, there's a message for you. Or it's like when I'm sitting here giving you these messages, um, certain things can come out and it's like within the message, there's a message for me and I know about it. So if you just open your eyes and open your ears a bit, like put, put your ear to the ground and just really listen into what's going on, you're going to find a whole bunch of different messages that are being given to you right now where it looks like it might be a normal TV show or it looks like you're just listening to a song or you, you know, there's a message within the message. Um, yeah, it, yeah. It is a general reading here, but I feel it's not a strong indicator that there's a soulmate connection or something like that, but there's a strong indicator of a loved one. So whether that is, because it's general, whether that is a romantic partner for you, whether that is a friend, co-worker, um, father of heaven, for some reason I wouldn't say father of heaven, uh, and it's not God. Is so maybe somebody out there listening, Sagittarius, has their father in heaven, uh, has their dad in heaven, or father figure, is what I should say, father figure, and that they're coming with a message for you, and that makes sense with then the ladybug coming flying about giving you a message. That is maybe just for one or two people out there a very specific message. For the rest of you, there there's this message within the message that's going on, and then Prince of Winter. Just let me look at this for a bit. It's like, uh, <laughs> Sagittarius, there's something about, there's, there's easier ways to go about it. There's easier paths or something like that. Like, we don't have to pick up a stick and then necessarily ride on this ferret. There's a, like a little mini Indian or some sort. Like, we, there's an easier, you could just walk. You could just walk in the snow, snow, or take the car, or like, there. So there's an indicator here. Okay, so it is coming out underneath the message within the message. So, it's it's like it's telling you. Um, and I just have to pause there for a minute. I just have to say, I felt my solar plexus. Um, uh, I did a healing this morning, so it could be that I am just, um, there's some lingering, like I stepped into that energy a bit too much, but since it hasn't loosened its grip, it, its grip is like, there's, there's heavy, uh, um, circulation, heavy activation, heavy activity in the solar plexus. I just want to give that because somebody of you out there probably are feeling the same. It's like it's almost aching a bit. It's like it's opening up and it's aching a bit. Like you would have worked out your muscle. It's a strange feeling. Um, so there's something about the message, message within the message that is telling you, listen to what's the easiest path. You don't have to make such a, you don't, if, there's a if there's a straight path, you don't have to take the one that's curved. Something like that. <laughs> I feel like it's very cryptic up until this point. So let's go deeper into nine, nine of spring. Let's, okay. Wow. So, 
we have yet uh, I love this so we have yet another we have four cards four clarifiers for the nine of spring I just want to say and we have the second number 10 coming out um, so it speaks about a big completion you really are wrapping something up you're coming to an end of something and you really are moving on to the next phase um, there's so like the indication here five of summer five is all about change in your life path and you're you're changing things and you're moving on uh and there's there's a need for you to just i don't know listen for the message right now really pay attention to the message you are such a butterfly here i wish you could focus a bit major major wings such a butterfly it is a peak it looks like a peacock the peacock butterfly um so it indicates that you are wow it indicates that you are such a soulmate connection yourself like <laughs> how can you be a soulmate connection if there's nobody else on the other end it's like you're you're getting your ducks in a row you're getting ready you feel more balanced and in alignment and so you are sort of becoming you're becoming the love material that you are seeking in somebody else. And that is a really good thing because that's the only way that you can literally attract somebody else that, that is on your wavelength and is whatever you're seeking. When you are whatever you're seeking, that's when that beauty of that connection is happening. So like I said, whether this is you wanting sort of that true sisterhood or brotherhood or bringing in your soul tribe or this is you bringing in the best co-workers or a gorgeous boss or or a romantic partner only you know because it's a general reading so I haven't focused myself on love particularly but there's a change here there's a definite change in what's coming in and it doesn't have to be either or either uh, it can be a lot of these connections are starting to happen because you're finding yourself in such a beautiful really gorgeous energy right now and that speaks of um, we have this ace of springs so we have nine of springs and the clarification for it is ace of spring so ace of spring is so high in its vibe ace talks about the highest possible energy in a situation and focus <laughs> and uh it's a lot of butterflies around it's blue butterflies on one side and then there's sort of orangey brown butterflies on the other side and a little birdie. Um, they're like, they're speaking about immense transformation. Like it's a huge shift happening for you. It's a very romantic. I love this because it's, it's sort of like you might have taken a bit of time for yourself and it's sort of, it's a romantic vibe around you. You're dressed in it's like a cherry blossom tree and here sits a fairy i think this is you um with very sort of uh pale colors very romantic um so it's in in with because it's a red border it speaks about laying a new foundation understanding who you are and bringing so high energy into the situation into yourself that you're becoming becoming a magnet for all it's so many beautiful different things that keep sort of showing up in your life right now. And if you haven't started to see this, you're, you're about to. Because you sort of can't be in this beautiful, beautiful energy and not start to attract accordingly. Um, and on the bottom it says, it's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. So I feel like this is something that maybe maybe you've been working on it maybe you've been trying it out testing it out wanting to try like try the waters around it um even tested it and felt like ah maybe it's not working maybe it's not for me maybe blah 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 blah. all of that sort of just throw that out the window and understand that the timing wasn't right it wasn't ready you weren't ready you're now ready it's like you have a script or like you have a book or something and you want to uh, have this book published or you want you want the book to reach a cer certain amount of people. Whatever this is, it doesn't necessarily have to be a book. It's just an analogy. Um, and it's like, okay, so you the book is ready. 
the material in the book is ready. Um, it's ready to reach a certain audience. And I believe that the audience is, is ready for it as well. But then it's like you needed to, you needed to bring yourself to this place. You needed to, to sort of connect in with the higher realms there for a bit. And you needed to connect in with yourself, growing those wings, understanding your true potential and your true worth, and really playing around in this gorgeous energy where when, when, when you send out something to the world, the world is going to have a reaction to it. And I feel like in the past or up until this very, very point, you didn't you didn't really uh you weren't ready for the feedback because it's it's like whatever this is that you want to, or or if it's just starting a business with something that you really believe in or or if it's like you wanted to start to dance again or you wanted to start to sing again and you want to present that somehow some way to the world and because it's so it's such a baby for you it's like if somebody wrote a book um or if somebody like wrote a song or wrote um, whatever this is, you, you, you made something or maybe you've been working on this web page, like this website forever, forever. And this web page, once you launch it, it's like if you were going to have sort of trolls there or if you were going to have people sort of commenting and coming back, um, critiquing your book or whatever this is it was too fragile for you it was it was almost like somebody would have taken imagine it to be a baby or a puppy or something like that and somebody coming in and sort of bashing your baby or or yelling at it or giving it such a hard critique of who it is you would so instantaneously want to protect that baby or want to pro like don't yell at my baby don't say that my baby is ugly like don't who does that? That's so mean. And it's like, not, not until you've grown <laughs> these wings um, and not until you feel, you feel the whole, I mean, it's that, it actually calmed down when I started talking about it, uh, the solar plexus. Is, and I, when I just mention it, it comes back again. So the solar plexus area is all about self-worth, uh, knowing yourself, knowing your self-worth, knowing your... Um, like your self-esteem, it's, it's knowing who you are. It's also the strong manifesta manifestational point. It's like where you draw things in. And so it really is high in high activity. And you needed to reach this place to feel sort of romantic within yourself, to feel whole, to feel ready to meet whatever. So now it's not going to make any difference it's not going to make any difference if somebody comes in and bashes your book or bashes your business or like, what is this crappy web page? Whoever did this, like you need help. Whatever this is, this time around, it will just, you know, it will just fly by. Maybe you will have some sort of response to it because you're human. But the, the, the overall feeling you get here is that you're ready you might have wondered why it hasn't worked in the past. And it's not that the thing, the very thing that you've been wanting to start up doing or launch or, or publish to the world is not that. And it's not even the fact that the audience is not like they're not ready for it. They are. You haven't been ready. You haven't been ready, but you now are. So now it's time. And then we have King of Winter and the King of Winter with the, that white owl. That came out for somebody else. Who was that? Was that Taurus, perhaps? I can be completely wrong here as well. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. But it's... Sorry, I just... Because it's so interesting with the next card coming out here. King of Winter is the high, like we have the highest possible energy around the situation. We have Ace of Spring. And then we have the highest possible energy around this uh, person, which is King of Winter. 
And the King Winter comes in with this white, gorgeous owl. So here is a King Winter that looks like Santa Claus to me, and here is a white owl. They're just, they're just so gorgeous. They're just so unique. And they're talking about like that wisdom, that clear wisdom that you hold and that you're willing and now able to present to the world to, to just sort of remember that again, remember who you are and remember that it's going to be, you're not here to present something to the world that you're either going to be critiqued on or not. It's not a freaking idol excuse me, idle competition when somebody gets to say, I can take your dream away from you. So silly. Uh, this is like, you have that wisdom and you present it to the world. And it's almost like that expression, um, when the student is ready, I said this to Libra. I said this to Libra, Sagittarius. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. And I believe that you're the teacher in this case. When the student is ready, the teacher appears and Sagittarius is the teacher. And then we have 10 of summer, which is another wrapping up. We're wrapping up something. Time to, time to move away from your old thoughts, your old beliefs about where this was going. Uh, it's a very much career, like where your life, where your life is going, like your life uh, overall. I see an avocado here. Um, I used to... I still, I still love avocado, but some people even called me avocado because I ate so much avocado at one point in my life. Um, it's interesting. I ate so much avocado and then I got pregnant with my little one. Um, and usually people get cravings, like they add things to their, <laughs> to their diet. I stopped eating avocado. That's probably how overwhelmed my body <laughs> was from all the avocado that I ate. Uh, and now slowly, like he's, he's just turned two years old and I slowly, I'm sort of, hmm, I'm feeling like having avocado again. Uh, I mean, the avocado represents, this is what I see. It's not an avocado whatsoever. It's a guitar. It's, it's, it's a couple. It's a couple. It's a, it's a man and it's a woman sitting right next to it. It's, it's very hard to see. I get it. And he's holding a guitar in his hands. He's playing the guitar. But to me, it comes out as an avocado. A huge avocado with a seed. You don't say that with that little seed. Maybe you do. In the middle there. Even, on, in the, even from afar, it looks like an avocado. What it talks about here for me, it's just a nutrition. To feed yourself with not only, like, people are so... Um, and I know you already do this, Sagittarius, because Sagittarius, a lot of the times are in a very much in the forefront of health. I don't, I don't know why that has become that way. And I know that's obviously a very generalizing way to say that. But I am talking to Sagittarius as I am talking to Libra and then Gemini. You know, it's, it's specific. So Sagittarius, you're, a lot of the times you're speaking about like being very much in the forefront of health. And just as much as you are thinking about maybe what you're putting in your body, food-wise, nutrition-wise, to really, really, really start to think of that in the same way around what you put in your head. What, what are you reading? What are you watching? Who are your friends? What do you surround yourself with? What do you look out at in the morning, in the night? What do you choose to... Um, like, where do you put your energy and your time? What do you consume? Not just on a nutritional level when it comes to food, but everything else as well. I feel like that is sort of maybe your... Nobody ever gets to the like highest possible... Like, there was no more evolution. It was no more growth to be had. It's like growth is promised there's a never and we have an ever expanding universe so the growth of us will just never cease it's the infinity sign all over it so it's not that but it's it, it sure as hell is talking a lot about how far you come and how much you um how much you really are in the health regime already. And it's like, if you just 
add this final little touch about choosing your movies carefully, choosing your Netflix series carefully, choosing your books carefully. If it is all about drama and murder and and twist plots and and you know, drop it. Go where the highest light is. And just for a while, you can choose it. You can on purpose choose it. You know there's a, there's a choosing there. But in the midst of this transformation that I feel for you, in the midst of wrapping up something and really coming out with your truth and coming out with your like you're getting so ready with inside of yourself it, maybe see it almost like a cleanse or almost like a diet for for just a couple of weeks where you sort of just you just go for where the highest light is you just continue there and don't uh, not on purpose uh and there goes the solar plexus again not on purpose drag yourself down um and, and then I will say that you're almost freaking complete, which is a crazy thing to say. I will see leek. I think it's called leek, not like an onion. Lurk. Like this long leek where it's sort of white. It's long and white and at the end it's green and you, you usually don't eat the end. Maybe you can. But you just chop it up. Uh, <laughs> I completely lost what it's called in Swedish. Leek. So there's some nutrition here. There's some, some super change going on here. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up with a final advice for you. Uh, and then I'm going to move it into the extended. And see what else. We're going to go deeper there. And see what else we can find. Uh, perhaps just clarify this love situation clarify who you are and where, where you want to go deeper now to launch whatever it is that you want to launch into the world and then end this uh reading with a little visual slash meditation exercise where we just i'm going to work on the solar plexus and i'm going to work on the heart it's just five minute ten minute little exercise for you to incorporate all the information that you received intellectually to then integrate it uh, on an energy level as well. If you're open to that, the link is in the description box down below. But some final advice here for Sagittarius before we move on. Thank you. Seven of winter. How many winters are there? Uh, four. Four number, four number winter. <laughs> for winter um yeah it's so much for me the final season it's like we have winter and then we move into spring where it all starts over again so and then we have seven of winter so seven of winter it speaks about how you truly truly are you wrap we have nine that comes to an end we have two number 10 which speaks about a completion something has we have ended a cycle something has come full circle uh, it's sort of the wheel, it's the world, it's the, yeah, it's like a completion here. And then Seven of Winter speaks about how you can now enjoy the cake that you've baked. I haven't talked about my cake for a while, maybe because I was on a vacation. But you put all the ingredients together, you put it in the oven, you have the waiting, waiting time, the waiting game. You actually get the cake out of the oven because it's now ready to, you're ready to eat the cake and have it too. You're ready to reap what you've sown it's it's really a time for you to indulge yourself in whatever it is that you have planned for and this card has become my dancing card she's a girl on ice skates she's ice skating um but it's sort of telling you to get to do everything with more fun more play more childlike behavior if this is literally ice skating, go ice skate. If this is singing, dancing, writing, painting, whatever this is, it just talks about bring more fun into the equation. Equation, equation, occasion. Um, and you will, you will feel this shift in a different way. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it there and move into the extended. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description box. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back soon.
Thank you so much for your do donations. I just want to say you are so creative, even though it's down to like very, very, very not much. It's still so creative. It's like a 1.11, it's 777, 888, 8888. I just reached, got this morning, which I, I just adore it. It's so playful and fun. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye.